Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. I have missed you all, <clears throat> but I wanted to do the reading. Excuse me. I wanted to do the reading uh, when I felt pulled to do so uh, because I don't want the messages to be, you know, redundant. I don't want to sound like I'm regurgitating the same information. So I really, truly just wanted Spirit to tell me, like, when to push out a message for you all opposed to me just pushing out messages um i will everyone as well and is healthy happy um feeling grounded feeling strong at this time um i'm sending love and light to all of you who take the time to comment to take the time to watch the videos like the videos i truly appreciate you all uh, and I just want you all to know that I feel compelled to let you all know just how deeply I appreciate you all appreciate just your consistency in just showing me love. I appreciate you. Um, Ayo aunt, you're definitely one of those brothers that always, always show love. Um, and I appreciate you King. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. Um, and I just feel compelled to let you all know that. Ah, man, it's the little things. You know, sometimes we overlook the little things um, because we all have these big grand goals. And um, and it's really the little things that mount to, you know, what's really truly important, you know. So I'm very appreciative, very humbled by your kindness, by your love, by your just your feedback sharing your stories, sharing your testimonies, um, being opened and transparent so that other people um, that is viewing the video, that are viewing the video, that's reading the comments can get that spark of inspiration and motivation to be better, to see that there is, you know, a way out, you know, it's like the saying goes, when you're going through hell, keep going, you know, don't stop and stay and, and loathe, like keep on going because you are protected. I feel this truly is like a soul family, a soul tribe because you all tend to protect one another. Um, and I've noticed that when people come in to say things that are pretty negative, um, you all step up and, and you get them right, you check them. Um, I feel like, you know, for me, I don't want none of that negative energy, so I'll delete those comments. But before I could even get to those comments, I noticed that you all do comment. And I appreciate that. I appreciate you all stepping up just to keep the platform um, positive. You know, this is, this is why I opened up the comment section to begin with, so that we all could connect and build and help one another. That's why I started the channel to begin with, is just to provide insight, um, whatever that may be, in hopes that it helps. And um, I'm very humbled that with some of your stories um, and even with some of you giving me, uh, you know, showing me love and saying how much the, the reading resonated, that really lets me know that I'm doing the right thing and that I'm on the right path. So I do appreciate that feedback. Um, so thank you all. Thank you all. I just wanted to, I just felt compelled to let you all know that I love you all and I appreciate you all. Um, I am going to be doing some more giveaways because that's how thankful I am. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of giving away, uh, one of my crystal trees. This one is an amethyst tree. Uh, this is actually a gift for my auntie, but I just did this one recently. Um, so I'm really thinking about, you know, giving out, you know, some some items from my shop. Uh, but this is a crystal tree. This is amethyst stone. This is a really good stone, obviously, for like the crown chakra. Um, it's really good for, you know, psychic and, um, you know, psychic abilities, channeling clarity. So I'm really going to be adding some some fun things to the channel as I promised last year. Uh, so welcome to anyone that may be new. My name is Q. I've been rambling, but I just wanted to give that love. I felt really, really compelled to open up the reading with love and light. So 
Let's get to the reading, um, do some house cleaning. So welcome to anyone that may be new. Uh, my name is Q, I too am a Scorpio. I am a channeler and empath and I am clairaudient. So I incorporate music into my readings and they tend to blend very beautifully with the messages that come out with the tarot cards. Um, right now we have De La Soul and the name of the song is called He Comes. So some of you Scorpios out there, um, feminine energy, even if you're masculine in a same sex uh, relationship, I feel like somebody's coming towards you. Um, there's someone that is making their way towards you. They're coming out of hiding. They're coming out of being that secret admirer or coming out of that space of just watching you and they're coming towards you. They're making a decision to come towards you, to move towards you. Um, this is someone that has been literally like I feel strategizing uh, a way to come towards you. It's not like they're just coming impulsively, like they've been watching and studying and now they're approaching you uh, because they feel more confident. There's this air of, you know, confidence and assertiveness that I feel that they may, may not have ever had. Um, so that's beautiful energy that I'm picking up with that. So before we delve any deeper, um, for anyone that may be new, like I said, this is a general reading. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. This is also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on this video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. So now I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit team, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and life for my beloved Scorpios. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibration of my cards. And so it is. So I'm going to be Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So right now we have Dr. Dre, and the name of this song is called um, The Doctor's Office. So some of you all may be doing some follow-ups uh, to some testing you may have done. Maybe some of you all are pregnant with child. Um, so you could be going in for your prenatal appointments. Maybe some of you all are, you know, maybe have a flu, a cold. Maybe some of you, unfortunately, uh, caught CV. And so you are finding yourselves at the hospital. Um, I feel like some of you all may have, I'm hearing tooth infections. Um, maybe you're having some sort of like vision um, deficiency, like your, your, your vision is impaired. Uh, I don't know if you had like got hit in the eye at work or if you are just finding that your vision is a little blurry. Um, so you're going in for that. I'm hearing glaucoma. So I don't know if someone may have gotten, um, you know, diagnosed with glaucoma. Um, so you could be just going in for some follow ups. I'm hearing everything is going to be OK. Uh, there's nothing for you to be worried about. Um, it's good that you caught it when you did because it, it could have gotten out of hand. Uh, maybe some of you all are just going in for um, just your annual checkups. Um, and maybe you're going to discover, you know, some some things. I'm hearing some of you all may have discovered like lumps uh, and you're going in for, you know, that first, second, third opinion just to make sure everything is everything. You're good. You're good to go. You got a clean bill of, bill of health, I'm feeling. So there's nothing for you to worry about. Um, right now we have um, Oshun, and the name of this is called Gods. So I do feel like um, what I'm hearing is with Gods is I heard create. So um, as you thinketh, you create. So don't think negatively about anything because then you'll feel that energy. You'll feel uh, you, it's like fanning that fire. Uh, know that you are Gods. You are made in Gods image. Um, so you are creative so that you have the ability to manifest um, anything that you're thinking right now, good and bad. 
So I feel like if you are finding yourselves coming up with certain ailments or you feel sick or whatever, it's like don't think the worst case scenario. Definitely don't go to Google search and don't become a, do a Google doctor and let other you know, people diagnose you. Um, just go in for that checkup. Definitely go in with an open mindset. Definitely, um, you know, speak to your angels and your ancestors to help you, uh, you know, kind of transmute that negativity or that sickness or that ailment out of you because you'll be fine. Um, I definitely feel like a, like a lot of you are protected from the divine uh, as this song is called God's. So I do feel like the Most High is protecting you, but the Most High is also trying to tell you something. So I feel like some of you all need to like, um, you need to listen to your intuition more. You need to trust it more. Uh, some of you may need to to uh, start connecting to your higher self so that you can um, develop that psychic talent or that psychic ability. I feel like a lot of you are psychics, are intuitives, are oracles, but you aren't trusting your intuition the way that you should. So I don't know where those messages came from, but that's what I got for you. So let's go ahead. Let's get this. I hope it resonates with someone out there. So we're going to pull some messages from the um, witch's wisdom. So we got guardian on the bottom of the deck. So just as I said, you all are protect, uh, protected. I feel like you have guardian angels around you. Um, and this is a black cat. I own a black cat. So maybe some of you all have black cats or you just have a cat in general. Uh, cats are very impervious to threat and they're also highly intuitive. I feel like if you all trust your intuition, um, it's going to lead you somewhere. It's going to lead you somewhere because I'm, I'm, I'm picking up with the song God's. It's almost as if God is trying to tell you something. Maybe you're getting a, a case of like deja vu. Maybe you all had, um, you know, a case of deja vu sometime recently where you felt like, dang, this happened before. Or I see this. I've seen this before or I felt this before or this something feels familiar. Um, so this is that energy of um, familiarity. I do feel also um, with this guardian that there is someone, um, maybe this person is, is waiting to come in because we got Joe to see, I'm still waiting, playing. So maybe that person I was picking up, um, you know, that wants to come in because remember we had, um, he comes playing by De La Soul. I feel like somebody is, you know, still kind of like waiting for a sign. But this is somebody that's going to uh, be very, they, I feel there's going to be a strong chemistry. There's going to be some sort of synergy or something that feels familiar when this person does come in. So if this is someone that you know already, um, this is someone that you may feel you have a sh very strong spiritual or soul connection tie bond to. Um, and I feel like this is because this is someone that's very special to you. Uh, we have clearance. So there is a sense that uh, you all may need to do some clearing, you know, clearing your space, clean, clearing and cleansing, purging, releasing, smudging, um, you know, maybe burning sage or Palo Santo sticks. Um, you could also, you know, cleanse your home by mopping your floors, um, you know, just doing a real spiritual cleanse in your home. I feel like uh, a lot of you could be also like just, you know, sweeping out the negative energy, sprinkling a little salt and then sweeping it out of your front door. Maybe you are, um, you know, owners of like, you know, like I said, in a former reading, like you may have like a cinnamon broom um, stick right around the entrance of your door. Um, maybe this is someone that is coming in that feels very connected to you, that is clearing up a cycle. I feel like many of you have cleared up some sort of karmic cycle as well. And so maybe that has triggered or activated someone else uh, that you may have a very strong psychic bond connection tie to. So let's see what else we have coming and going out, going on. It's a lot of messages for y'all today. A lot of intuitive messages. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. I saw blossoming or awakening, excuse me. So something is like on the precipice of, you know, coming in. I feel like somebody's becoming um, awakened to perhaps their feelings or perhaps this connection, this bond. Um, and maybe you have been waiting because it says I'm still waiting. So maybe you all are still waiting for someone 
to clear out a cycle or to go through their dark night of the soul journey or to do their shadow work because you've already done yours. Um, I do see that you all are master manifestors, that you are co-creating with source. Um, this is that energy of creating, uh, co-creating with the divine. So you're transmuting and turning pain into power. Um, this is an energy of perseverance, of strength, and of healing. You know, so you've taken a lot of time to really heal yourselves. And in healing yourselves, you're now more centered and grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Um, so you now are more susceptible to creating, um, to producing change, to um, being the conduit of change. And so you could be, you know, calling in wish fulfillment at this time, maybe sending up prayers, petitions, uh, doing visualization um, techniques, you know, manifesting your deepest desires. Um, maybe you're calling in some sort of wish fulfillment. Um, yep, there goes the intention. So you all are setting intention. I feel that there is a lot of um, manifestation, and that's what I was picking up. That's why I was saying that in the beginning, like you got to be very mindful of what it is you're thinking about or harping over or on or ruminating over, um, pining over because you have the ability to create it. So set your intentions and focus your intentions on the positive things that you wish to manifest because you are very powerful at this time. You have the ability to create your reality. So make sure that you are thinking the most highest um, and most positive um, ways, you know, thinking in the most highest and positive ways uh, so as to produce those results. So, you know, you do have the ability to focus your intention and create your reality. So be very mindful of what you're thinking. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to cut the deck. We're going to spirit of love and light. See what's coming and going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios. Bottom of the deck, we have ethos. So it says Wiccan right. So this is saying that you have, um, you have the ability to manifest, that you are in the practice, but you have to be sure not to waver or to, to veer off the path, to rebel against the laws. This is like the bylaws, you know, of, you know, magic. And it says, bide the Wiccan law, ye must. So this is about following the path, you know. So if you are an alchemist or a magi, then you would know the power you possess. You would know, as I said in the beginning, the power of your mind, your own mind. So when you veer from knowing, you know, veer from acting as if you know, you know, what those, what the laws are, that you are supposed to abide by, then there's repercussions and consequences. And there's karma that you could accumulate. So make sure to follow, you know, stay within the laws, within the bylaws. Don't step outside of what you can do. This is like, you know, don't take away other people's free will. Don't forget the power you possess. Don't forget the power of your words. Because as you speaketh, you create. And that's what I was picking up earlier. And so it's very interesting that the Wiccan read. So this is telling you to, to, to follow, you know, follow the course. Be very meticulous about how you are implementing and practicing your power. Okay? And so right now we have um, Nirvana. And this is called Smells Like Teen Spirit. So with Nirvana, I do feel like there's, there's going to be some sort of, um, I'm hearing change. A change is going to come. But with Smells Like Teen Spirit, teens are very free spirited. So maybe you're feeling like, you know, free spirited at this time. And the divine is telling you, you got to stay within, you got to stay within the, within the grounds, you know, stay within the ground laws or, or stay within the parameters of, of your practice, 
it's, I, I just keep getting the feel of like not, not wavering from what you know is the right thing to do. So it's like staying, staying true to yourself, staying perpendicular in your square, being just, being righteous, doing things the right way is what I'm getting. Okay. And, and on the bottom of the deck, we got remembrance and it says ancestors. So maybe some of you all are, I'm hearing the word summoning. Maybe you're summoning your ancestors or summoning some sort of deity. Maybe some of you all are having a bit of nostalgia. I feel like there was a lot of heartbreak. You know, maybe someone broke your heart. You know, maybe something that resulted in the demise of a relationship or the demise of some of your connections, friendships, family, what, or otherwise. It's like you're remembering that. Maybe you're trying to seek revenge. Maybe some of you all are trying to seek revenge and the divine is telling you to stay within your rights. Like don't take away anyone else's free will. Because it says, bide the wicked law ye must. So this is like the first step to uh, practicing magic is to abide by the laws. You got you to gotta respect the laws. And so with remembrance, I do feel like, you know, maybe some of you all are still like um, you're still in pain over something that ended. You know, you're still you're still suffering, but it's like your angels and your ancestors are protecting you. You know, you've you've been resurrected I get a sense of like there's been some sort of resurrection there's been some sort of emergence you know you've transformed after the death of something because this is like the death to me also because it says ancestors and your ancestors you are your ancestors you know and your ancestors are you so they do live through you so there's a sense that like maybe with this remembrance maybe you're remembering some of your um, I don't know let's see let's let's pull some additional messages so this is the overall energy let's get the energy of the person Scorpios is attracting and how they feel in their energy let's see In bottom of the deck we got masculine so you are attracting a divine masculine this is like the emperor. So you are attracting someone that's like a leader, a boss, very confident. Someone's going through an awakening, just as I said. Oh, it smells like teen spirit. Maybe somebody was acting very juvenile in the past. And maybe that's why that death was there, because maybe someone is remembering better times. There's a sense of, you know, nostalgia, someone kind of like, thinking back to the past, but someone's going through some sort of awakening. So they've been going through this dark night of this soul journey. This is someone that has been doing their shadow work. And now it's like, this is like the springtime when the flowers start to bloom and blossom. So it was like spring is sprung. It was just 23, 23. So they got, somebody has gone through the death, the death of e an ego I'm hearing. Someone has been humbled and we see, we saw, I just said spring is sprung and I didn't even see this card. So we got spring because this card made me f see like, you know, with this, these flowers, I didn't even see this, even though it was there, I wasn't paying attention and focusing on it. So there, this is how they feel about you. So if someone's awakening to their feelings for you, you know, when I see yellow, I feel like vibrancy, you know, I feel strength, love, passion, adoration, admiration. I feel like somebody's very clear, very illuminated as to, as to how they feel. And the spring is literally like the new year to me because that's when everything begins to blossom and bloom and come alive again. The animals come out of hibernation. So it's like this is like a new beginning, a new start. So I, just as I said something, you're on the precipice of something new. I feel someone is having some sort of awakening to their feelings and they're seeing you as someone that they can you know, that they can um, have happiness and joy with. They may see you in a different light. They may see you as, 
you know, very attractive, very strong. And we have little brother, and this is called the way you do it. So someone likes the way that you do you. Maybe they've seen that you've gone through some sort of transformation and you're emerging as someone brand new. Someone very happy, very, you know, light-spirited, very like-minded also. And with this masculine, I feel like this is like a divine masculine or a divine feminine. This is someone very um, much in control, someone very successful also. Like they got their ish together, they go after what they want also, so they're not shy. And remember we said he comes in the beginning by de la soul. So this person is coming towards you and then we also saw God. So this is going to be for the divine feminines like your God and for the divine masculines like your goddess. That is the suit. So it's like gods and goddesses. So this is like, you know, this person is also someone who has gone through some sort of transformation. Because we can see here with the awakening. So there was like a death and now there's this rebirth. And I feel like this person is very um, attracted to you. So someone very, very um, protective, very powerful, very successful. They're also very passionate. They're a leader, a boss. They make things happen. This is like that entrepreneur also. It's a very passionate, fiery energy. And so how they feel about you is that you're like, you know, a new beginning, a new start for them. You make them happy also. And they have a lot of love, a lot of passion. They feel like this connection is very, um, like you complete them, I heard. So what's hidden in the energy, Divine Spirit? What's hidden in the energy? Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck. What did I say? This person has a lot of passion for you. This person is very passionate. What's hidden is dedication. So as I said, many of you could be like mastering your craft. You could be spending a lot of time in front of your altars. And that's why this, with, uh, this, um, this read is here. Because I feel like whatever you're doing, just maintain staying within the, the, you know, the parameters of your power. Like don't try to out overstep your powers or take someone else's free will away. I do feel like you are connecting very strongly with your ancestors, your spirit team. Like, I feel like if you aren't, you need to like create altars and dedicate more time, study and learn and connect with your ancestors. But I already see you are. I feel like many of you are literally like connecting. Some of you could be creating potions and elixirs, just as I said, being the alchemist. Some of you all are burning incense, making um, offerings to your ancestors. I'm hearing food and drink, liquor. You're even smoking, you know, blowing tobacco on your altars. I feel like a lot of you also are practicing your, your magic. So you are, um, and that could be why they're telling you to be mindful of you know, the, the Wiccan law, you know, the read. Because it is your free liberty to practice, you know, but you have to make sure to study, to know what the laws are, you know, what you can and can't do. But I do feel some of you all are passionate about this. Like some of you all are like, you, you're tapping into your esoteric and occult knowledge. You're learning. You're doing candle magic. Maybe some of you all are practicing your candle magic and you're starting to see results. I feel some of you all may make your own incense candles. Some of you could be also like manifesting new love. And maybe that's why the divine is saying stay within, you know, the, the, the right, you know, stay within the parameters of your power. I keep hearing parameters and I hope that makes sense. But that's what I keep hearing every time I speak about this read card. So it's like maybe somebody's overstepping, stepping outside of those parameters, doing something outside of, you know, this, this law. So they want you to abide by it. I'm hearing be obedient. So, yeah, I feel some of you all are manifesting new love. And maybe some of you all are being a little too specific and you're writing specific people's names down you're, like you're you're taking away someone's free will liberty and it's like you know manifest but manifest without taking away 
someone's free liberty or manipulating someone else's energy is what I'm hearing. And so we have here, um, what is this playing? We got Joey Badass. Yeah, so when I hear Joey Badass and then I'm hearing, you know, um, this Wiccan, I feel like somebody's rebelling. And they're not being obedient, they're rebelling. And there's going to be consequences and repercussions, so be mindful. Be mindful, beloveds, okay? But this passion, I feel like someone is very passionate about what they do. Like, it's like you're just fanning that fire within. It's like there's this, this, this desire that someone also has for you, I'm feeling. Yeah, there's a lot of passion, a lot of desire. So Divine Spirit, what is the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? What is the outcome? And it is 30.44 on the clock. See that you all are very powerful. I knew you all were this um, magical being, that you were the magician, the witch, that wizard, that oracle. I knew that you all were, were tapping into your power. I was feeling that energy. And that's why it's very imperative for you to stay within the, you know, the laws, stay within the constructs of the law, because then you're rebelling. We just had Joey badass. So don't be a badass. Don't rebel, you know, because I feel like many of you are really manifesting and you can manifest what you want because you are very powerful. You're owning your power. You're utilizing your power. You even know that you're powerful, but don't get too cocky. I'm hearing the word cocky. Stay humble. Be grounded in this power. Don't take away anyone's free liberties. This is beautiful. You are very strong. A lot of you are very psychic. I feel there's, there's a lot of psychic activity. And I feel like you could pick up on other people's energy, other people's emotions. Like you, you could read auras. Some of you can like literally see colors around people. Maybe some of you are scryers. Maybe some of you could see imagery. You know, like you could just look at a bowl of water and you could see imagery or you could look at you know, the dirt and see, you know, images. You can look at the smoke, you know, from from your Palo Santo or your sage. And you can see images like some of you all are very, very, uh, very gifted, gifted scryers, gifted oracles, psychics. Even maybe you have very lucid dreams, vivid dreams. And we have Kirk Franklin, Franklin. Um, and the name of this is You Are. So you are very powerful. And as I was saying in the very beginning of the reading, um, you do have the ability to manifest whatever it is you think. So be mindful of what you're thinking of. Be mindful of how you use your powers and your talents. I'm curious to see what's underneath this. And like I said, look at this. The alchemist is right underneath that. So the alchemist is there. So you are the magicians, the alchemists. You could alchemize. You have the ability to manifest your desired outcomes. And I feel like you all know that. And that's why you're being reminded to, you know, not not rebel against these bylaws. You know, we all have to follow universal law, karmic law, if you don't want there to be any blowback. So be mindful of that. Dedicate. Some of you all are very dedicated to what you're doing because you're very passionate about it. And I feel like it's because a lot of you discovered you had those gifts when you was healing, when you was going through your dark night of the soul journey. And so you've become so powerful that you're starting to see things that you've been, you know, calling in probably last year. You're starting to see those things material materialize in this um, physical reality now, like they're manifesting now. You know, you started to manifest probably like new jobs, you know, just healing yourselves. And that let, led you to believe or led you to know, not believe, but know that you were healers, that you were, you know, like I said, those healer shamans, light workers, oracles, wizards, witches, whatever you want to call it. But we have this divine feminine came out. So this is your energy. Remember, we had the divine masculine, now the divine feminine. So that tells me you're very balanced. That tells me even if you are single, that you are very balanced, like you have good qualities. You have a good balance between that masculine and feminine energy. And this is showing that you have self-love. Self-love makes you more attractive. I feel like you are also very, um, very attractive in terms of, you know, manifesting what you want because you know your worth and value. 
because you've healed yourselves, because you have been practicing self-love, self-care, because you have been creating healthy boundaries with toxicity, getting rid of it, cleaning and clearing it out of your lives. I feel like now this is making you more attractive. I feel other people are starting to acknowledge you, notice you, see you in a whole new light. I feel like many of you have discovered your worth and value. Like you realize just how powerful, how beautiful, how um, gifted and talented you were. That you're here to shed love and light on the collective. So you may have discovered that you are, in fact, um, here to help others heal. You're here to inspire others. And the divine is saying that that is your your soul's purpose but stay within as long as you stay within you know the laws you abide by it and obey you know be obedient because you are powerful obviously your master manifestors like you know how to turn you know your circumstance around your co-creators with source you are master master uh masterful at everything that you do and you're super attractive you're very humble very beautiful very nurturing, very paternal and maternal. You know, you just have a niche for um, creating things, new ways of thinking, ideas, um, projects. Some of you all could be parents, mothers, fathers. You may have children that you look after. Maybe you all are pregnant at right now. You may be with child. So congratulations for many of you are. If you aren't, this is a very fertile time, so be mindful. But this is the divine feminine energy. Remember, I used the term goddess because we had God playing by um, Oshun. And Oshun is a very uh, beautiful feminine energy in the um, Yoruba um, spirituality. So Oshun is very beautiful, very attractive. She's, she embodies that divine feminine energy. And so you are attracting your divine feminine, your divine masculine. You are seen as someone very beautiful, very abundant, very powerful. I'm hearing the word sexy. And now I'm hearing sexy thing. Um, we have water here. This is your element Scorpios and it says cleansing. And didn't we see that card clearance? And I was saying that some of you all are clean, clearing and cleansing yourselves, purging. So many of you could be taking like spiritual baths, banishing hexes and ritual work and spell work that may have been on you. I feel like many of you are going through some sort of uh, healing period or you have gone through this healing period and it has really, truly cleansed you of any any toxicity, even any yokes and curses and hex that may have been placed upon your, your family tree. I get, you know, the alchemist card, the star energy from this card as well. And we have um, a mad lib, I do not. So I feel like, you know, you said you do not um, submit your will to anyone that's bringing you drama, trauma, that's bringing negativity, toxicity. You do not mesh well with that energy. You cleanse yourself. You clean, clear, and cleanse yourselves. You purge in yourselves. You're even doing some deep cleaning in your homes. But I feel like there was a, a, some of you were really taking spiritual baths, you know, concocting some powerful spiritual bath ingredients together to cleanse your energy. The water is very healing for Scorpios because that is your element. It's also reflective. So many of you could have been doing some soul searching, some internal work, some introspective and ref retrospective work or reflective work. That's like taking those internal self audits. I feel like a lot of you are purging people, places and things that no longer serve you or your highest good because you know that you are the divine feminine, the divine masculine. I definitely feel like, you know, after this cleansing, you will be rejuvenated. Your spirit will be revitalized. 
you'll feel recharged and powerful. This has given me the vibration of that star card in traditional tarot because remember you had the alchemist here and that's what the star card reminds me of is alchemy because she's literally like she has one foot in the water and one on earth so it's like you're finding balance you're harmonizing yourself your energy your vibration while also co-creating with source creating the potions and elixirs to life that alchemy is also about optimism and hope, remaining hopeful even in those times of difficulty, trauma. That's a powerful energy of, you know, remaining balanced, remaining grounded, staying in alignment regardless. So you do not put up with anything that is on a low frequency or vibration. I feel like you all are very mindful of what you give your energy to. You have a love of self now. We got Love Begins, that's on the bottom of the Psychic Tarot deck. So as you love yourselves, which is the first step, others will begin to draw to you, they'll be drawn to you, they'll start to appreciate you. I feel like you're attracting someone that's also very, very much balanced in harmony. You're attracting someone else that's, that's healed, that has, you know, that speaks your love language. And we have Cat Dahlia, and this is called Gangsta. So someone sees you as like, you know, a spiritual gangster, I feel. Because I feel like, you know, as I said, you know, this divine feminine, she embodies all of the characteristics and attributes of all of the queens. So not only does she embody self-mastery in and of itself as the divine feminine, but she has all of the characteristics, which means that she's very cerebral and very wise, very intelligent, like that queen of swords. But she's also very emotionally intelligent, like that Queen of Cups. She's also very fiery and passionate and goes after what she wants. Very confident, like that Queen of Wands. And she's very successful, grounded, down to earth, very nurturing, like that Queen of Pentacles. Very self-sufficient, independent. And so with this cleansing, you've cleansed yourselves purged yourselves of what no longer serves you and this is why you have love begins because you have learned to love yourselves to put you first to prioritize you first so on the split we have choose wisely and love begins so every option isn't going to be a good option which is why there is this caution and it's going to require you to center yourself to go into meditation to get things straight to contemplate on your choice, your decision, because I feel like you have someone that's coming in that is going to speak your love language, that's going to absolutely be, you know, attentive, affectionate, available, that's going to be very patient, it's going to love you, they're going to provide like that emotional fulfillment. And they're going to pour equally into you as you them. This is a, a very reciprocal connection. And 4343 is telling me with that, that 7-7. Seven, seven. So both of you communicate telepathically and intuitively. I feel like both of you are very psychic. Both of you are or can be channelers or oracles. And this is the number 7. So I am sensing like somebody that's coming in is communicating with you because that 7-7 seven, seven reduces to 5. So they can be communicating with you, just not literally communicating with you, you know, where they're calling you up on the phone, but they're communicating with you telepathically or they could be visiting you in your dreams, sending messages that way. I also feel um, that this person will eventually reach out. And, and speak to you or come towards you because we did have he comes 
and this person does feel that you are their goddess you are their divine feminine or divine masculine you are their god and we got four 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 so that is um someone that is um looking at you as a wish fulfillment this is going to be like a miracle or some sort of divine connection spiritual union you're attracting someone that is going to match your fly match your vibration be a like mind I feel your angels are conspiring behind the scenes to bring this person in because we did have guardian in the beginning and we had familiarity or familiar. So there will be some sense of uh, familiarity when this person does come in. This person will mirror you because we did see the divine masculine when I was shuffling the deck and we got the divine feminine. So this is the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. And this is someone I feel you all have manifested especially with this altar dedication card. So you have been working with your angels and your ancestors, and they're just telling you, look, you can continue to heal, continue to, to remove that past person out of your energy. You have to release your ex. You have to let that go. You have to forgive your ex. You have to do that work before you could attract something new. Look at this, accelerated motion. So this is like that person that's coming in and they're coming in quickly. I told you somebody's coming because it said he's he comes. And this person is coming sooner than I thought because it, it felt like there was a little apprehension or they was just kind of like waiting it out. But now I see that there's something coming in very quickly. This could even be like a wish fulfillment that's coming in some sort of answered prayer. Because I do feel like, you know, with all these mountains in the background, it shows all of the difficulty you know, how, how resilient you have been, how hopeful, how, how positive and optimistic you've, you've remained even in the face of, you know, you know, adversity. And we have memories lived. So there is someone from your past. This reminds me of like that six of cups energy. Someone from your past holds you near and dear to their heart. I feel they could also be, you know, lighting candles manifesting you. Maybe you all are manifesting love or trying to call someone in and the divine is saying that wish fulfillment is here. Someone recognizes you as their wish fulfillment. And we have mad libs stepping into tomorrow. So this person may, you know, reach out to you all tomorrow. Maybe this person, like I said, is going through their awakening. And they're going to come out of that dark night of the soul or come out of that tunnel fully aware of who they want or what they want or which direction they went they want their lives to go and they could be rushing in towards you because they see you as some sort of uh, miracle or wish fulfillment this person definitely has a lot of love a lot of admiration a lot of adoration and I feel this is something that they may not have ever communicated to you all I feel like this is someone that is very hush about their feelings very quiet and that's why they're going to this awakening maybe this is even news to them maybe they've tried to deny these feelings and that's like more of self-deception so let's see what's coming in going out going on we're going to clarify these messages here so um let's see what we got Divine spirit 11 light was coming in for our beloved scorpios i saw love begins see that or prosperity begins pardon me so with prosperity begins, this is like blessings, blessings, opportunities, wish fulfillment. They're falling from the sky. So this is from the divine. The divine is blessing you with some, um, some level of success or abundance. And this is from your hard work. So it's like the divine has acknowledged the seeds that you have planted. You've sowed them in good faith. And now it's like, you know, the divine is going to be showering you with some sort of uh, wish fulfillment or showering you with some sort of um, opportunity and it's it's literally prosperity and abundance and success and expansion maybe this is something that's leading to some sort of financial freedom for you all you may not have to worry about money because this tree is going to constantly bloom and blossom so it's like something that you do maybe it's something that you do uh, that you're passionate about maybe it's in the spiritual um arena maybe you are like i said oracles or maybe you're channelers or maybe you handcraft candles or you make incense or you just do something 
rooted in spirituality. And I feel like whatever it is that you do, because this is a gift that the divine has blessed you with, it will always bear fruit. So you are going to start seeing some of the results because as I said, this divine feminine is very abundant, very successful, very powerful. She's, she knows her worth and value, so she's always manifesting. She's a co-creator with source. And with prosperity begins, you're going to start seeing, you know, you're going to start seeing that wish fulfillment. You're going to start seeing the, the results. And there's something or someone trying to hold you back. And look at this throat chakra just popped open. So this throat chakra, be mindful of your words. And I feel like this is your message because it just shot out uh, and up at me. So be mindful of what you speak. Remember I was saying like, you know, what you... What you think you create, well, your words are just as powerful. So don't speak ill of other people. Don't be mindful of your words. Don't be nasty. Don't be argumentative. Use your words to heal. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all is what I'm hearing also. Be obedient is what I keep hearing. Be obedient. Because I feel somebody's going to probably try to get you to try to take you um, out of character. So just be obedient. Use your throat chakra in a way that's going to awaken. Even the person that's trying to bring opposition to you. Because this says stepping into tomorrow and then we got moving on. So maybe somebody is really pissed off that you're moving on with your life and they're trying to trigger you. And that's why the divine is saying to bide the Wiccan law because you are powerful and you may have the ability to manifest whatever it is you say in anger or through anger. You could say something like, you know, you know how people be like, kill yourself or I hope you die. You know, people say the dumbest shit, you know, but somebody may say that, you know, and the divine is telling you to be obedient. Use your throat chakra for good. Use your throat chakra to heal. Use your throat chakra to awaken the masses, you know, but you're moving on. You're moving out of this darkness. Remember I used the reference, like if you're going through hell, keep going. Somebody's coming out of that dark night of the soul and they're awakened to the truth. And it was all a matter of time. You know, good things take time to create, but everything happens in divine timing. And we're about to clarify the person that you're attracting and the awakening card and then we have moving on here on the bottom of the deck. So your person could be moving on from a situation, a karmic situation. And we got mad lib. So yeah, I'm getting mad. So somebody's trying to get you angry, trying to get you out of character. I keep hearing because you all have been like, you know, flying high lately. Like you've really been just, you know, focused on mastering yourselves and just been in a very positive vibration and, and just thinking optimistically because you're on your divine feminine, divine masculine vibes. And someone is seeing that. And, you know, like I said, in a former reading, whoever angers you, controls you, this person that's coming in knows that. So they may say some things or try to trigger you to get you angry just to see if they still have that effect. It's all a game. So you have to remain in your power and stay ste 10 steps ahead. You know, the witch's hat power card is saying that you're very powerful, that you are very psychic. So read this person's energy, read the energy, read the room. You know, that saying, read the room, just read the energy, read the temperature, pick up on the energy and vibration of that person. Bottom of the deck, we got heartache and loss. See that someone was suffering from some sort of painful situation. This is like the three of swords energy. So this is what this person, some third, some heartache and loss is awakening someone. Someone was going through a very difficult time here, but it's awakening them to the truth, awakening them to, you know, what they deserve and what they, what they feel even. And maybe there's some sort of heartache and loss because there is no communication. Somebody feels very, very closed up, very confined, very restricted, very restrained. This is a stuck energy to me stuck in their head, self-deception, confusion, delusion, illusion. This could be by their own means or someone else manipulating their energy. 
because remember we have Wiccan Reed right next to it, so somebody could literally be, you know, mind fucking someone or uh, gaslighting someone. Someone was gaslighted, and we have Whitney Houston here. This is called um, Million Dollar Bill. And it says, I look to you is the name of the album. So someone is, is looking to you because they see that you have had some major transformation, that you've transformed um, not only your energy, but the way you think, the way you speak, the way you move. So it's like they looked to you. They see you as that million dollar bill. So they see you as someone that they can learn from or someone that they can They can invest in, I'm hearing. They see your worth. They see your value. They see you as someone that's, you know, they see you as a million dollar bill. So you're someone very, you know, valuable to them. And maybe this person is suffering. This is like sufferation. And they're suffering because there's a lack of communication, I feel. Because this three is right next to um, the throat shock with the five. And this five is also about, you know, not just communicating with your throat chakra, you know, not just expressing your feelings um, or someone, you know, getting you to argue with them or be combative. But this is also about creativity. And remember what I was saying in terms of, you know, this this Wiccan read. So some of you all are discovering that you are magis and, you know, oracles or psychics or channels. And it's like, you know, use your powers for good. Don't use your powers to, to throw things at people or to do juju and, you know, other things to take away people's free liberty because there's going to be consequences and repercussions for real, for real. So be mindful of that. You can protect yourself by all means, any means, you know, just make sure you're not, you know, playing God because that could be another reason why that song God came out, you know, and we remember I was saying about creation and the throat chakra is your expression. That's how you express yourselves creatively and articulately as well. That's what the throat chakra represents as well. So, you know, you could express yourself as long as you are abiding and being obedient to the laws. See that? Spiritual strength. You are very powerful, Scorpios. You are very, very powerful, whether you realize this or not. The divine is telling you that. This is what spiritual strength and power is. And I feel like, you know, this person sees you as such. And that's why they are looking to you. This is why, you know, they see you as someone very valuable. This person is heartbroken in your absence. Like, if you know this person or are familiar with this person, there's a sense of, um, you know, longing for you, missing you. And they haven't spoken. This is like, you know, they're not even expressing these feelings. You know, they're not even saying how they feel. But we have he, we had he comes. But you're very spiritually strong. I feel like you've, you have gone through so much. And it's just made you stronger. Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. And, and, and this is just a, a show of your, your perseverance, of your resilience, Scorpios, and of how you have, like, mastered your craft, you know, like how you've turned your pain into power, how you've been that conduit of change. You know, this is beautiful. And so we have Nas halftime playing. So you're at the halfway mark, or maybe this is like, you know, the spirit, this spirit, spiritual strength I feel like you know maybe springtime is going to be when things start to develop you know when things are going to get like really exciting there's going to be something that that comes in perhaps maybe communication because I see this flock of birds just around the, the crown of that tower you know so maybe there will be some some incoming news we'll see so why is Watchtower of the East here, spring, here for how Scorpio's person feels about Scorpio? See that? Bottom of the deck, accelerated motion. So this person is halfway there. I feel like this person is halfway 
at that point where they're going to come in because we got accelerated motion. They do see you as wish fulfillment. This is somebody that absolutely dreams about you a lot and they send you messages telepathically. I feel this person has realized something and we have um, patience. So with halftime, you know, halftime is when, you know, in the, um, you know, when you play basketball or football, there's a, like that break. So, you know, the springtime is when I feel something is going to break through. There's going to be a breakthrough of some sort. And the divine is telling you, be patient. Because patience is a form of action. And it takes good things. You know, good things take time to create, to develop. And as you could see, you know, this is a seed. And the seed that she has planted, you know, in her hand. So this is showing she's the alchemist. And she determines how fast, you know, this, this, this uh, flower is going to blossom. And it's all a matter of perspective. And the divine is also working on this. You could see this light here. So the divine is literally bringing someone in. And I feel during the springtime is when you'll hear from this person, is when this person will come in. And the spring is like right around the corner. So right now it's halftime. Right now it's halftime. So you all have an opportunity to continue working on yourselves and getting yourselves prepared. Because with this 14, that's five, like I said, many of you are just really channeling uh, your energy right now and focusing on your creative skills, talents, and gifts. And that's taking your mind off of focusing on perhaps this love connection. I feel like you all are very sensitive to energy, very psychic, because she's wearing like this headdress, which has all of the cycles of the moon. So I feel like you've been manifesting these things. You have been the co-creators, just as I said. And I feel like you're also picking up on someone's messages telepathically. This, this person is communicating with you. And with halftime, they're, they're literally taking a break. They're taking, you know, that time out. Because the halftime is when the players get to take a break, you know, start rubbing on those muscles that are sore from the game you know, start getting some more feedback from the coach. So it's like they're, 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 in that, they're in that hermit mode, so to speak. They're in that place where they're taking that break, taking that woosah to, to really assess the situation. But I do see there will be movement. There will be, there will be someone coming in. And we have um, deception here and envy. And we also have heart chakra. So someone was deceived. I feel like somebody had been dealing with um, some deception here. And perhaps, as I said, this could be because um, what's hidden in the energy is you have deception and envy in the altar. So this is literally someone like doing some sort of magic spells, trying to take someone out, going to some sort of some sort of root doctor trying to get some sort of spell work on someone and they're looking look how he's looking at this feminine energy with contempt and remember I was picking up on the fact that somebody was um, trying to get you angry trying to get you out of character you're not even focusing on them you're over here creating you're over here minding yours you're over here you know, building your wealth of knowledge, you're sowing in good faith. While this person that has been wearing a false mask is very deceptive and angry and envious and carrying contempt. And they could be going and trying to do some sort of spell work. This is someone very malicious because this came under and they're very dedicated to taking you down, taking you out. This is someone that you may have um, stopped communicating with because you discovered that they were being uh, deceptive. This is someone very jealous, very nasty. And they're jealous and nasty because you're dope. We got Boogie Down Productions, and this is called Dope Beat. Dope Beat. So, yeah, this person is jealous of you because you're dope, because you've been taking time to create, to co-create with Source, because you've been patient. You knew and you know that good things take time to create. And you know that 
everything happens in divine timing. So something beautiful is happening in the summertime or in the springtime, excuse me. This person's envious and jealous of you because they see that you have been truly like transmuting whatever pain and, and negativity and trauma, you know, that they may even be throwing at you. They see that you just, you, you, you're not even focused on them because you're protected. This is an all black card. So you're very protected. You know, you, you, you are spiritually protected. And remember, we had guardian. And I use the term uh, that you're impervious to threat. So whatever this person is throwing at you, look how she's like within bubbles. So it's like you have a protective bubble, a shield, a fiery wall of protection. And I feel that's why this person is envious because they're trying everything in their power to throw something at you. And it's just like you're, you're returning that shit back to sender. So we have here Lady Goddess and then the heart chakra flew out. So you absolutely are very satisfied and content on your own because you've healed yourselves. You've learned to love yourselves. You've been very selfish loving you, taking care of you, self-care. You know your worth now. So you are really very gentle with yourselves. You're doing more things to, um, to just show yourself that self-love. Whether that's like meditating, whether that's eating healthy, you know, whether that's taking time out for yourself, taking days off as you need it, not overworking or overextending yourselves. You're just more um, patient and kind you're speaking to yourselves in a loving way and I feel this also has helped you in the healing process but this is also what's drawing in real love someone that's going to be very emotionally um, fulfilling for you and it's very different from what you dealt with in the past because you have someone that is coming to you very grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Someone that's also uh, experienced and knows what it feels like to be heartbroken. So they will not do what they um, don't want done to them. They're coming in uh, very cognizant of that. And this is someone that sees you as wish fulfillment. And we see the waiting game. So some of you could have, feel, you know, you could feel like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And But good things take time to create, as I've been saying here. And we have crown chakra. I feel like you know this is coming in. I feel like you all know it's coming in because as I said, you all have been manifesting this. So why is water here for our beloved Scorpio cleansing? Thank you, spirit. And we got discontent and boredom. So yeah, that could be another reason why you all, you know, have been um, feeling like you've been waiting around, you know, because this is again for, so this is a lack of emotional fulfillment. But I feel like you've been in the process healing yourselves, working on yourselves, grounding yourselves, learning. You've learned tremendously from a situation that was um, involving perhaps family, friends, or people that you considered to be family and friends, even colleagues. I feel like you've learned a lot. Even with this red book, this is about, you know, becoming wiser. Many of you are suffering from conflict and this is because you had someone that could have been potentially like manipulating you being a gaslighter being very um argumentative someone very um deceptive and in a competition secret competition this person was like in a you know like a spiral and so we have wisdom i feel like you wisened up to that that situation you know, this was someone you were loyal to, but I feel like you, you learned that you had to be loyal to yourself. And this is like a wizard. You know, he's wearing this cloak. So cloaks always denote to me someone that's in a higher rank spiritually. So I do feel like with that spiritual strength card that showed up, that just shows that you, you literally mastered your craft. Like you began to um, seek wise counsel, dedicate more time connecting, reading, studying, building your wealth of knowledge, um, you know, and maybe you felt discontent and bored because there wasn't enough excitement, but the divine is reminding you to go outside, get some fresh air, 
step outside of your home because if you're in the house too long, it can become a prison. So I feel like, you know, and, and maybe, you know, you, you need a fresh perspective. So going out in front of, you know, maybe a body of water, like the card said, the cleansing, you know, card, you know, maybe sitting by a pond or a lake or maybe even going to the beach could provide a sense of, you know, just that that rejuvenation or revitalization, that recharge that you need. Some of you all have been just doing the same thing day in, day out, just very routine, very regimented and no excitement. And I feel like this is bringing, you know, that feeling or causing that feeling of discontent and boredom. And so what flew out is suffering in silence. So a lot of you all, that's what you all were doing in the past, just kind of suffering. But this is a nine and she's standing at the top of the mountain. So you've reached the peak. You know now what you want. You know now who you are. And you can see, remember, I was pointing out how mountains denote like difficulties. You've overcome those difficulties because you've reached the peak of that mountain. And so there's nowhere to go, you know, from here, especially with the sun. You're clear now. You have that aha, that epiphany, that that illumination to a situation. And I feel like, you know, this is allowing you to, you know, reflect on not only the past, but to obviously move forward passionately towards a new beginning. She's carrying a staff. So this is about having that new beginning going forward and following what your heart's truest desires are opposed to just going along to get along or appeasing and pleasing or staying in relationships that had you feeling confined, restricted, stuck and stagnant. You're cleansing yourself of that negativity. You're purging the people, places and things that made you feel like you couldn't confide in them, trust them, rely on them. You know, people that made you feel like you were alone, people you've given, you know, numerous chances and opportunities to prove their love, to prove their loyalty. And I feel like they proved they weren't because here, you know, this is you looking back in, you know, awareness, learning from those experiences. You know, experience is the best teacher. You know, it's, everything isn't going to always pan out the way we see fit. But I feel like, you know, just, just you learning, you're stable, you're indoors, you have a home. But I feel like the divine wants you to step outside of the confinements of your home and go seek excitement. You know, go be daring because you do have stability and security. But I feel joy and happiness is the one thing that's, that's lacking because you see this rainbow of colors. So it's about you getting grounded, balanced, and in alignment. And the patience and planning card. So this is the second time patience has been referenced in this uh, reading. So you got patience. So I feel the divine is just saying you, you be patient with the process. Because everything you've been praying for is already yours. You are already the divine feminine. You are already very stable. You are already very abundant. You are very grounded. And I feel like the only thing that you may be impatient with is, you know, perhaps having someone um, to share your life with, you know, share love with, to have that connection. And I feel like the divine is saying, be patient. Um, we got Slum Village and the name of this is called Players. So maybe in the past you all, you know, were suffering in silence because you was dealing with players. You was dealing with people who were childish, people who were um, unavailable. You know, just you, you were really dealing with people that were unavailable and not available, um, meaning, you know, emotionally, you know, you felt alone. She's standing alone. It says suffering in silence. So some of you all experienced a lot of pain because we did have that ancestors card remembrance. So maybe some of you all lost family members, loved ones, mothers, fathers, and you felt like you didn't have anyone that you could really confide in or rely on or trust you know, during those moments of vulnerability and, you know, um, just sadness and loss. So a lot of you suffered in silence, but you're strong. You're very strong. And I feel like you've acknowledged, you know, who your friends were, who those people were that you could rely on from those who you couldn't. And you realize you couldn't rely on anybody because you're here by yourself. And so you could have cut everyone off. That's why this cleansing card is here. I feel like you broke free from the yokes. You broke free from those soul ties, those karmic cords. 
because you see these individuals for who they were. They were opportunists, users, energy vampires, manipulators, deceivers, tricksters. This is that energy of like, you know, you finally washing yourself free, cleansing yourself, purging, and seeing the truth finally. That sun is illuminating everything, but it's also bringing you the strength. You know, it's bringing a new beginning. Look at that. You've got a bright future here on the bottom of the deck. Mama Lakshmi is bringing and guaranteeing that there's a bright future and there's no need for you to worry. So the suffering and silence is literally in, you know, so many words telling you to just surrender. Surrender to the divine and let the divine wash away your tears, wash away your fears. We got don't back down. So this is all about standing in your power. And she's holding what appears to be like fire. And this is right around where the heart chakra is. So as I said, you got to fuel that fire within. Follow what's passionate to you. Follow your heart's truest desires. And don't be afraid to speak your truth. To stand in your power. This stand up for what you believe in. So divine spirit of love and light, look at that, boundaries. Establish boundaries if you haven't, Scorpio. I feel like you all have because that's why there's no communication. I feel like with suffering and silence, many of you are literally healing on your own, by yourself. No one knows what you're going through. And we have little Kim, and this is called work. So many of you have been doing your soul work. You've been healing at a soul level. I just said go outside and there goes Cordelia telling you to go outside, breathe in some of that good ass prana, sit by them trees. That's that Ralph Smart saying, ah, breathing in that good ass prana. I love his accent. I love him. So that's what you all may need to do. Because I feel like you'll get some fresh perspective. As I said, you'll get some downloads, divine interventions. You'll be surprised at what you will hear. You know, what you what messages you'll receive or what different encounters you will have with certain animal totems. And I just saw Easy Does It. And this is, again, referencing patience and divine timing. Everything happens in divine time. And there's no need to rush. Everything you've prayed for, asked for, wished for, especially as that alchemist, Especially as, you know, that very powerful magi, oracle, sorceress, channeler, shaman, wizard, whatever you are, whatever you go by, divine feminine, divine masculine, you, it's yours already. I'm hearing it's yours by Wu-Tang. It's yours. It's yours. Like, that's what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. And with little Kim singing work, I feel like you all have worked for it. So you will be recognized. You will be rewarded because you've worked for it. So it's not like you're looking for payment for a job you didn't do. The divine notices and acknowledges your transformation and your change. That's why you had that uh, wisdom card because the divine sees just how wise you are now. Like you, you the spiritual strength shows how much work you have um, put into yourselves you know healing childhood traumas familial traumas breakups divorces discovering you had people that were deceptive around you and you're all kind of messed up things but you all persevered through it overcame it all right so focused intention is the first one that came out you see that i was talking about you having that ability to manifest your desired outcome. Just how powerful you are at this time and how mindful you have to be about what you think because you could create or what you speak you could create. And remember we was talking about obedience. Look at that. So it says keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, actions focused on your target and you will hit your mark. So you are very powerful, very magical. So don't let anyone distract you. That's what this is reminding you of also. Don't let anyone's words anger you. Don't let anyone's actions anger you or distract you or throw you off your path. Because you have the ability to manifest exactly what you want. Whatever that may be. And you are so close to doing so. And you may have somebody coming in with their words. Trying to gaslight, manipulate, 
or anger you, trigger you in some way. But you have to keep your eyes on the prize. This is like whatever you give your attention to is what you give energy to. So wherever your attention goes, energy flows. So the divine is telling you to keep your, your energy or your attention focused on hitting your mark and you shall do so. All right. And we got receptivity. And we got burning spear. The name of the song is called Tradition. So with this song and we got awakening. So someone is following the traditions. You know, they're following their, you know, maybe somebody is coming to some sort of epiphany. Something's burning within someone to finally express something, maybe express their feelings. Because when I hear burning spear, spear is also like an air element. You know, it's reminding me of like the sword. It's in the sword family. You know, it, so I feel somebody could be with that burning spear. They're having a burning, um, you know, that burning feeling, notion, gumption to express themselves, to say something. Because I do feel that there is someone kind of suffering in silence, not communicating, not saying how they truly feel. And maybe they're having this awakening that they need to do that. But I feel the divine is telling you to be receptive, to be open you know, maybe you got somebody blocked or maybe you're not as, um, you know, because you're guarded right now, as we saw with boundaries. So maybe this person is a little afraid, a little apprehensive because it says tradition. So it's not this person's, you know, normal. It's not their normal tendency to approach you or approach people they like they're usually the type that like to be approached or they like to be I don't feel this person has much confidence perhaps they live in their head they're used to being chased like they're used to people throwing themselves at them but in their mind, they see the two of you as like minds. I see these two, uh, what appears to be deer. And they're both together. So it's like this person may surprise you. The way these deer are, they're kind of like sitting and chilling. So this person can be just kind of like up in their head trying to figure out how to come in but they're getting this this is like this burning feeling like speak say how you feel express yourself there's so much fear surrounding someone look at this they're attracted to you look at look what's here they're fearing that you're not going to be open they're fearing that you're going to reject them but this is what they truly feel they love you they have true love for you and they see you as the divine feminine this is the same energy as the lady goddess the divine feminine that empress energy so this is someone that really is perhaps they're intimidated because you come off as someone who has their ish together. Like you're very grounded, balanced in the line. You're very abundant, successful. You, you know, independent, self-sufficient. You're a lover, a nurturer. You're very attractive. You know, they see other people are drawn to you, that you're getting a lot of attention, that you're very successful. And so this person could be a little intimidated in coming toward you because, you know, with that burning spear, I feel like they just got this burning, you know, there's just this burning desire. Thank you, spirit. This burning desire to speak to you, this burning desire to approach you. So let's see, why is awakening and heartache and loss here for Scorpios? Why is awakening and heartache and loss here for Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. And we got um, Keith Murray, the most beautifulest thing in this world. So they do see you. As the most beautifulest thing in this world, especially with that lady goddess showing up twice. And even if you're not a, a feminine energy, masculine, they see you as someone very attractive. So we have quiet time siege. So this person is taking some time out to heal and to just really, you know, contemplate to figure out an approach. Because remember, we did have um, the um, He Comes song by De La Soul. And then we have right now Keith Murray saying the most beautifulest thing in this world. So this person can be a little intimidated by you, Scorpios. 
They may see you as someone very, you know, well put together, like you got your ish together, as I said. And also that you don't take no ish. <laughs> like you ain't taking no ish, like you doing your thing. So they know that if they coming in, they're going to have to come in and match or fly because they see you as the divine feminine. So you know your worth and value. You're not going to settle. We got sacred space here also. Definitely you all are very, very connected to... Um, you know, you're very, very much connecting with your ancestors, your angels, your spirit team. I feel you and this person is, is also mirroring one another. This person's in hermit mode, recovering from their heartbreak and their heart ache. I feel both of you kind of are, you know, kind of like suffering in silence. But I feel you are further along in the process, Scorpios, whereas your person may just be getting started. They're going through their awakening, whereas you're already awakened because you're 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 already the divine feminine. We got sacred space here. So this is you. I feel, you know, manifesting, as I said. This is about you, you know, just really. Just surrendering to, to spirit. And trusting the process, trusting that everything happens in divine timing. I feel you all are absolutely co-creating with source and being very creative at this time. And maybe during the springtime, all of the hard work and effort that you've put towards a project or towards a creative uh, skill is going to blossom. Something will blossom during that time. Why is uh, Watchtower spring and patience here for how Scorpio's person feels about Scorpio? And this card flew out and it says cycles and rhythms. What did I say? So you absolutely have something happening in divine timing because it says honor the cycles of your body, energy levels and emotions. So I was telling you earlier to trust your intuition, that inner gumption, and speak energy. Read the room. See how you feel. Because something's coming in and you're going to have to make a choice. And with this deception card, I do feel like you have someone that may be an ex, a past person that was very toxic, that you were suffering in silence, even within the relationship, is also, you know, like they're trying to plan something. And the divine is telling you to... Trust how you feel. You know, if, you, if, if someone's energy doesn't feel right, sit right in your spirit, it's because it isn't. And it's because they're trying to conjure up something to block blessings, to cause chaos, despair, turmoil in your life. But I feel you are very sensitive to energy. This is a purple card, so I do feel like psychically, intuitively... The divine is sending you those signs and synchronicities, letting you know. And I also feel like you, you've already, you, you could see someone's reflection. You could see that they are a mirror. And I feel like you're being co, um, proactive and you're protecting yourself. Some of you could be creating like a circle of protection. Because this almost looks like she's like uh, painting like what appears to be like a circle when I see this energy here, if you look closely, it's like she's like using the wand to create. So you're like you're, you're creating like that fiery wall of protection. And we have Shaba ranks, roots and culture. So just as I'm speaking of someone throwing something at you. And remember, I said someone's trying to, you know, go into a, a witch doctor or root to, to this is roots. So someone's trying to put roots on you. That's another term for juju spells ritual work so be mindful because this is a very deceptive energy this someone is is like they are green with envy so this person is very like oh my god like they are very jealous of you scorpio you got to be very careful around this type of energy because this person is very jealous i don't know who that is let's see who the hell this is and and we got alter here and I'm about to clarify this again. So they're really going to 
root doctors. They go into practitioners. And I feel you are protected because you had that guardian card there. But I also feel like y'all need to also protect yourselves. And whoever this is that's doing this, they going, I'm telling you, consequences and repercussions. You know, because I was picking up, maybe y'all was stepping outside of the parameters of doing what was just. But if this is someone doing this to you, baby, they going to get it. They going to get it back infinitely. So why is altar, dedication, deception, and envy here for Scorpio's divine spirit? High priestess, you already know who this is. You already know who this is. You already know somebody's doing something. Because you are, you saw how that flew out? So you already are very aware. And, I, and, and that's not surprising because remember, we had power card. So you're very sensitive. Trust your intuition. Trust your inner gumption. If somebody's energy doesn't fit right, sit right, trust me, it isn't right. They are not rocking with you. They do not like you. And everything in your spirit is telling you that somebody is full of crap. This person does not mean well. But I feel like because you are this high priestess energy, you're very sensitive to energy. And I feel like you're getting a lot of downloads. Like spirit is warning you, forewarning you of who this is. And remember, you had spiritual strength. So you they don't know who they messing with. They know not who they mess with. And this is why people shouldn't be throwing stuff, because you could be throwing something at somebody that is like at a high rank. And everything you throw at them, they're going to throw that right back. To, they're going to return it to sender. And all that you was wishing on that person, all that bad, all that malice you was trying to bring into their life is going to fall upon you. And pay attention because if you are returning to sender or doing reversal spells, Scorpio, pay attention to people around you. Because if you start seeing things happen in their lives, like they start fought, having some misfortune or Things start happening like they lose their job or their car breaks down or something. That's a sign of who is doing what to you. And we got um, ramp and this is called music is my sanctuary. Some of you all are getting messages clairaudiently telling you and forewarning you. Maybe just this song right here is telling me that some of you all need to listen to this song. Music is my sanctuary. So maybe there's um, some of you all are creatives in that regard. I feel some of y'all are um, clear audience, so you may receive like divine downloads, interventions and messages, and maybe it's impertinence to who this deceptive person is. Maybe whenever you hear a particular song, you know, it's just kind of talking about everything this person embodies. Be mindful because you have divine knowledge. You have divine knowledge. You are that oracle. You are that psychic. You are attracting someone that's going to have unconditional love. This is somebody that absolutely loves you. Good, bad, and indifferent. This person is definitely um, matching your energy because you have a love for self. Now they're coming in to shower you with love. Like attracts like. So why is Lady Goddess? Wow. And so... It says start delegating. So you need to delegate. Don't do everything. The divine feminine, divine masculine does not have to do everything on their own. You have to be, you know, very uh, vocal about what you need. You need to ask. You could even ask Green Tara for assistance, for help. Instead of trying to do everything on your own. Maybe some of you all feel, you know, because Scorpios could be very proud in that regard. You don't like to ask people for help. Especially people you feel you can't rely on, especially if people proved that they were unreliable. But I feel like as this divine feminine, allow yourselves to be soft, allow yourselves to be taken care of and gentle, you know, be gentle with yourselves because that's what, you know, this divine feminine energy is. This is about, you know, being delicate with yourself and caring, practicing healthy self-care, you know, and also knowing your worth and value, knowing that, you know, People need to, to, to show and prove. So don't just let people get away from handling their responsibilities. Start delegating what you need. And if they don't do it, if this, you know, requires you going to the courts to get somebody to pay, you know, their part of the child support, so do it. You know, I know a lot of people don't like dealing with the judicial system, but it's like if you got to force someone's hand or even if you have to make that threat, to let them know like you mean business, go through the process, start the process, send them the paperwork to let them know, look, I'm about to push this button. If you don't sit down 
and, and start figuring out how you're going to assist, what you're going to do to assist because you're not going to get off easy anymore. Like start delegating because it's becoming overwhelming and burdensome to you. You know, the divine feminine knows her worth and value. So she she's definitely going to implement, you know, what's necessary to make things easier for everyone, for the family, for her children and for herself, ultimately. So be bold and ask for what you want. I want to get another message for this lady goddess, divine feminine, heart chakra, green Tara. Expect a miracle. The divine has noticed how hard you've been working. Like I said, y'all have been very resilient, very perseverant, or you've persevered, you know, through some very difficult times. And because you all have been asking, you know, perhaps, you know, the angels, ancestors, you know, through prayer, petitions, visualizations, chants, affirmations, like I said, it's like now there's wish fulfillment coming in. I was picking up on wish fulfillment. And it's coming in quickly because I feel you all have literally been through, you know, the ringer. You all have been through some difficulties, but those prayers are being answered. Your angels have heard your prayers. And because you've healed yourselves, I feel ultimately you're being rewarded because you've healed yourselves and you've done things the right way. You're being blessed with, you know, a divine partner, that lover. And this is somebody that is bringing you complete compassion loyalty, faithfulness, trust. They're going to honor you, respect you. And they say music is my sanctuary when life puts that juju on me. So whoever this is putting that juju on you, that you're going to be free from that. It's like you're protected from that. Because you got Mother Mary here blessing you and all these angels on this card. So you are very protected. You have guardians. You are very protected. No weapon formed against y'all shall prosper. And I'm here to tell y'all to read Psalm 91 religiously every day. If you feel any type of funky energy, a cloud over you, if you feel like you keep running into unfortunate situations or misfortune, you lost a job or you just getting sick out of the blue or you getting ailments. Because remember, we had the um, office visit or something like that playing in the beginning. And I was like, some of you all may have been going through uh, some sort of, um, you know, some sort of ailments. And that's because somebody is trying to to harm you. And so you, 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 it's like trust your intuition, but also know um, that you are protected. Don't give anybody the power. Don't submit your will. Speak health. Speak protection. Speak, speak abundance and prosperity on yourselves. Don't speak sickness and woe is me talk. Don't, that's, not, that's not how you manifest. You say, I am healed. I am a healer. I am powerful. I... I transmute any sickness, any negativity out of my body and turn it into power, whatever, you know, like come up with your own affirmation. But you get the gist of what I'm saying. Don't speak illness on yourself. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, I have this. Oh, I'm broke. Oh, I'm lonely. Don't talk like that. That's not how you manifest. Unconditional love. Somebody's coming in that's going to love you unconditionally. Mind, body, soul. So why is water cleansing? Suffering in silence, patience, and planning here for Scorpio's outcome. I was cleansing, suffering in silence, patient and planning here for Scorpio. Okay, here we go. Medicine woman. This is like the umpteenth time the divine is showing you who you are and what powers you possess. Know who you are, Scorpios. And we got the locks. The three kings. So you all are kings. You all are queens. You've been crowned as such. So know that. And I feel like you are realizing that right here with the suffering and silence in the sun. You realize just how strong you are because you had nothing to lean on but your strength. And you've cleansed yourself, purged yourself from the people, places and things that weren't serving you. And even those people that were trying to put voodoo, hoodoo, juju. Some of you all may have kicked some folks out of your home. Some of you all need to clean, clear, and cleanse your home. Some of you all are going to start making some changes within the household. So maybe you're going to be purchasing some new furniture or getting rid of some furniture. I'm hearing decluttering. 
I feel like the home is also speaking to your physical body. Um, so you could be doing detoxes. Um, you could be exercising more. You could be eating more green and leafy food. You could be just doing more um, detox in terms of like uh, fasting maybe. Um, I feel like your physical body is going through some sort of healthy change. Maybe because you all have been implementing those spiritual baths, you're starting to notice some of those ailments, some of those sicknesses, some of the dis, dis ease that you was feeling in the beginning um, is starting to dissipate. You're starting to feel stronger. You're feeling revitalized because you've made those healthy changes. Maybe you've changed your diet. You started to implement exercise, yoga, African dance. Maybe you've been running. Maybe you've been jogging. Maybe you've been just, you know, speed walking or just taking those trails. But we see here bodies of water again. So I do feel like water is being shown for a reason twice because it says bodies of water and then water again. And not only is this your element, Scorpios, but I do feel like the divine is telling you um, that there's a deep cleaning, a, a deep cleansing that's taking place, um, that you are being recharged, revitalized uh, when you go to these bodies of water. I also feel the divine is encouraging you all to do spiritual baths, especially because you have someone here throwing juju at you. So you may need to do like a spiritual bath. Um, you could use rue herb. You could use um, hyssop herb. You could use dragon's blood. You could put a little charcoal. Um, you could put a little bit of um, sea salt. Uh, let me see what else. You could put a little, sprinkle a little bit of the um, Florida water in there. And you could put it in your tub. Save that Psalm 91 into that bath water as you're putting it in. And while you're in there, you just ask for what you need to purge, to banish any hexes, spells, to, you know, um, return to sender any illness that anyone has been sending to you, any psychic attacks, spiritual attacks. Um, but you all need to do a spiritual bath. And I feel like I'm seeing the number three, but I also feel like some of y'all need to do it repeatedly for seven days. It isn't good to do it when you're on your menzies, ladies. So wait till after your menzies to cleanse and purge. Don't have sex while you're doing the spiritual cleanse. You should not be um, indulging in sex. You should not be indulging in masturbation either. Um, you have to cleanse your energy uh, because that is like a, 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 a sexual demon, masturbation and sex and all that. You don't want anything um, coming back to you energetically. So be mindful. But I don't know. I'm, I'm being told to tell you that. But we have blossoming. So this thing that you've been patiently waiting for, it's blossoming. That's why the divine is telling you wait. Because something beautiful is blossoming. You're on the precipice of something new and something beautiful. And the divine is telling you to be patient for a reason because it's everything that you have asked for. This is reminding me, like I said, of the star card, this water card, because it's, the, you know, the feminine energy in that body of water and she's surrounded by earth and trees. So it's like you are healing yourselves. You're becoming grounded. You're becoming balanced and in alignment, spiritual alignment. And so as you're balanced and grounded and in alignment, you now can attract others. Uh, so this changes that you're making, purging and detoxing and cleansing, clearing your energy and doing whatever, you know, little, um, you know, seven day, or maybe you're just doing, you know, a, 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 um, a fast. Maybe I'm hearing some of y'all are just fasting, but whatever it is you're doing, it is helping you uh, to recharge, to become revitalized, to become restored ultimately. So just be patient with yourself and be patient with the situation because everything is going to work out just fairly. And everything's going to work out just fine. Okay. And so we have roots. And every time we talk about something about clearing your energy, the roots, the, the word, the reference root. So you are clearing yourselves from some sort of root work. And that's why the divine is telling you to be patient because you got to get that juju off of you before you can start calling in the, the new. But with this nine here, I feel like you're just at the end of that. You know, you're just at the tail end. So we have here fiery wall of protection by Archangel Mikael. So just as I said, y'all are protected. Y'all are shielded from whatever this is that's trying to take you down, take you out, whoever this is plotting and scheming and trying to interfere with your happiness, your joy. It's like, it's going to be returned to sender because Archangel Mikael carries that sword of protection. And so I feel like he is literally going to cut you free from any karmic cords, any generational curses, yokes, soul ties. So that's why there's a, a necessity to be patient. 
because you don't want to bring any lingering or residual energy into a brand new relationship. Uh, and then that could taint that connection. So, all right, looks like I'm going to have to fix my cards. Oh, no, I just got them upside down. Okay. Oh, no, I don't. I got to fix my cards. Give me one moment. I'm sorry, y'all. All right. Thank y'all for your patience. So, like I said, pay attention. God is trying to tell you something earlier in the beginning of the reading. We got pay attention to the signs and synchronicities along with fiery wall of protection. So pay attention to what's going on around you. That's why I was picking up the fact that y'all need to go outside in nature because maybe you've been kind of held up in the house too long. And I've been saying that to y'all for like almost a year now, two years you know, a year and a half now. And so it's really, um, it's really important to get out of the house because your house can literally become like a prison. Um, some people start developing like sensitivity to, um, energy to the point where they can't be around people because if this actually like a, a mental disorder and I can't remember the name of it, I, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like people cannot go outside their home because of paranoia. They start, you know, the walls start closing in on them. They start feeling like, you know, it, it's just too much um, stimulation. And so you don't want to develop that. Like, I don't, I don't know if somebody already has that, um, but whatever it is, it's like, you know, you could be just really, really um, someone who's just like, a, a, um, you know, someone who's very not reserved, but like you're. I don't want to say antisocial either because that's not the word I'm looking for. You're just an introvert, you know, you're, you're just someone that doesn't really like to be around a bunch of people. But I feel like this is going to be very necessary for you to get some different type of download or some sort of divine intervention or to have some sort of divine encounter. Um, you know, perhaps there's just messages because it says pay attention to the signs. Uh, but I also feel the divine is saying that something is coming in for you. You have some sort of wish fulfillment, but you do need to go out and kind of ground yourselves. We got emotional investments, longevity, stability and security. So you do have someone coming in, as we saw with um, unconditional love. That's going to be very, very vested in you. And what I say, y'all been mastering your craft. That's what y'all have been really preoccupied with, really focusing your energy on. You haven't really been focusing on other people. And so we got a prodigy, an alchemist. We got death sentence. That's the name of the song. So it was the death of these superficial relationships. Somebody that was an attention whore that felt a sense of validation, just having a bunch of people gawking over them. And, you know, because I was picking up right here somebody who was... Um, you know, kind of like, you know, I'm hearing the word conceited, but also somebody who was used to having people chase them. And I feel like you wasn't chasing nothing. So we got always be building. So this is your perspective, your sentiment. You're, you're always building your wealth of knowledge. You're always learning. You're always looking to improve. You're always looking to become better. That's just Scorpio energy. You're always transforming. You're always going through a death of an old version of you. And you're always emerging someone new. And that's why you have people trying to block your blessings and stunt your growth because you're going through another cycle of life. It's like you're, you're ending one cycle of life and you're transforming and somebody's very jealous of the progress of just your uniqueness. You know, it says your vulnerability is your superpower. And a part of your vulnerability is your emotional intelligence, just how loving and compassionate and caring you can be. But that is also your superpower. So I feel like you got to use your powers for good, as I said, because there is going to be some folks trying to push your buttons. But that's going to be their death sentence because you're going to cut shit off with them. You're going to cut them off. And that's the, the that they're seeking attention from you. And these are people just using words, you know, coming in, gaslighting you, trying to use the same techniques that you've since uh, you've since peeped. You've already peeped game. And, and, and now your sentiment is like, show me if your actions don't match your words and your vibrations, then I don't want to hear it. So you're not checking for people's words. You're checking for their energy. Bing bong. <laughs> what does their energy speak to your spirit? That's what you're focused on. That's what you're focused on. You're not focused on anything superficial because you could sense that, you know, this person or whoever these individuals are, are, are fake and you don't do fake. I love how you love me content. What is their energy? So somebody's going to definitely come in 
looking to, you know, give you that, that commitment, you know, looking to court you, looking to love you. And this is because they see your worth and value. I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions. So what did I say? Somebody that is absolutely disconnected, immature, looking to cause conflict, looking to cause drama, somebody that does not emote, some that, someone that's not on your vibration is trying to come in and distract you. And that's why the divine is telling you where your attention goes, energy flows. You already know you don't sit white vibe right with this energy. So don't even pay attention to it. Ignore it. Ig the ignorance. And don't settle for less. This is your sentiment. You're not settling anymore because you realize who you are. Divine feminine, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. So you're not settling anymore. You're not lowering the bar. You're putting it up higher, if anything. So this person here with awakening and the three of swords and quiet time, maybe they're in a karmic relationship and they're realizing that they're settling. They're realizing that, you know, there's just that spark that their person is missing. It's just that spark that they're perhaps missing because they had burning spear. So there's something that a passion within them that isn't being quenched. And so we have um, Christopher Williams. I'm dreaming. This person dreams of you a lot. And I feel they're in heartbreak, you know, being in separation, you know, from you, not communicating with you. Uh, if this is someone you know, I feel it is someone you're familiar with or someone you may have met in this lifetime, maybe in the past, you know them, maybe you worked with them, maybe an old neighbor, maybe someone you went to school with, maybe this is someone that you may have dated. I feel like you wasn't going to settle for the crumbs they were giving you. I feel somebody is also learning uh, not to settle for less because maybe something was just uh, packaged very beautifully and that's what they went after only to discover that, you know, the contents weren't as, you know, weren't as satisfying, weren't as, um, it didn't fulfill them ultimately. So now they're taking a moment out to heal themselves, to reevaluate what they want. This person dreams about you a lot, as I said, uh, because we got Christopher Williams, I'm dreaming. So this person dreams about, uh, about you a lot. And I was picking that up and they do think of you often. Um, you can see this, you know, the clouds. So they do think of you and dream of you. And I feel like this, their thoughts of you and their dreams are awakening them to how they truly feel and also to the fact that they sh needn't uh, settle they need to go after what they want um, so why is awakening um, what is that heartache and loss and siege quiet time here for Scorpio's person oh my god what's going on with my cards so why is uh, awakening heartache and loss and siege here for the person Scorpio is attracting thank you spirit this flew out. It says you are a miracle and you deserve the best. So this person realizes it's your wish fulfillment with don't wake me. I'm dreaming plain. So they do see you as wish fulfillment. They also see you as someone very rare, very beautiful, very unique, very kind. You're just different. They love you. They see you as someone that they, you know, absolutely admire. And they know that they didn't give you what you deserve. They know that they may have taken you for granted, didn't appreciate you. Music is my sanctuary is playing again. And remember the actual song played on. Music is my sanctuary, music is my life. So maybe this person and you love music, you share the same type of music. Maybe this person is hearing music that makes them think of you, makes them dream of you. I remember it, they said, um, music is my sanctuary when life puts that juju on me. So this person is suffering in silence, but the music is making them, you know, kind of get lost, you know, making them feel like they need to reach out and making them have these these very nostalgic memories. And with cycles and rhythms, I feel like, you know, they, they're trying to plan how to come towards you very strategically because they know that you have changed, you've transformed. I do feel this person watches you. Why is spring here? See that? Destroying, rebuild. So they destroyed something with you and they've watched you rebuild from the ground up. Now you're very stable, very strong, and you're very particular about who you come in, who you divvy your time and energy to, because now your time, your energy, your love is all currency. So they know that they're going to have to come and match or fly. This is someone that also... Um, sees you as very stable, very grounded, very balanced. 
very down to earth also. This is someone who has a lot of adoration, a lot of admiration. They see you as a light, a beacon of light, very wise also. And they want to communicate, but they see you as protective as well. You're very protective, as I said, very particular. You're in a protective bubble. And remember, I referenced that, you know, here on this card. I was saying they see you as someone very, you know, much in a protective bubble. Because, you know, of whatever you had to learn, whatever growing pains you've had to endure, it's like, you know, you now are particular about who you allow in because you have your guard up. But remember the divine said to be receptive, Scorpios, because I feel somebody's coming in that dreams about you often. Why is spring? Oh, not spring. Alter. Deceit, envy, high priestess, somebody that broke your trust. So somebody going to come in with some fake apology, but you know that because the divine is telling you to pay attention to the signs. And it says on this card, exhale the bullshit, inhale peace. So it's like somebody is coming in and they're going to say, you know, forgive me. This is somebody very deceptive, very envious, very jealous. This was someone that was really plotting and scheming. Somebody that could have tried to put some juju on you. And because you returned that ish back to sender, they're going to be sitting here seeking your forgiveness because they're going to know that it's karma. They're getting karma. Toxic behavior. See that? This person is not sorry. This person is just talking out of the side of their lips. Talking because they have lips. This person is not sorry because you got toxic behavior. But I feel this is also somebody that you have had to forgive so that you can free yourselves, so that you could release that person. That's why the divine is saying, exhale the bullshit, inhale peace. Pay attention to the signs. God is going to try to tell you something. And I feel like with this high priestess here, it's like you already know that this person, what their intentions are, because you're speaking energy right now. And you know this person is real, uh, real negative, and we got... Um, mob deep eye for an eye and it says your beef is mine so the divine is telling you like whatever this beef is this person has with you the divine is taking care of it you don't need to step down off your throne to deal with peasantry let the divine handle it that's why this wiccan reed is here reminding you not to seek revenge or to be vengeful just let the divine handle it because this person is is literally they don't realize the bed they made like i said earlier like people know not what kind of rank you're in in the spirit realm and this person has been waging war on you silently but you have known because you're psychic you knew somebody was throwing ish at you and you've been protecting yourselves some of you all have already been doing these spiritual baths and doing egg cleanses and purging and cleaning and clearing your homes because you could just feel energy and because you did whatever you had to do to protect yourself without taking away anyone's free liberties or manipulating on anyone's energy or doing any, you know, like playing God, you remained in your in your role, like you relinquished control of the situation, surrendered to the divine, because that's what this altar is also, is about surrendering to the divine and trusting that the divine is going to handle it for you. And that's why the divine is saying you're good. This person now is going to be begging for your forgiveness because of their toxic ways. They're going to it's going to they're going to get some blowback. Remember I said that? They're getting blowback. And it's because they knew now who they was effing with. I'm going to make it my business to stop cursing in these videos. I really feel the need to like try to, you know, tame it even though I feel the energy cuz I channel energy and I could be feel I just feel that energy sometimes and I get real spicy, but I do feel like I got to kind of you know, I got to work on my, my tongue. So that's why you hear, heard me today saying like F and, you know, I slipped up a couple of times. I'm not perfect just yet, but I'm a, I'm a master of the art of communication. So, um, so Lady Goddess, let's see why Lady Goddess, Heart Chakra, Green Tara, Mother Mary, expect a miracle is here for the outcome for Scorpios. So lion ass truth ain't in you. And that's why somebody is pretending like they can't do things, acting like they don't have it. But you got your mind on your money. So whatever you're mastering, it's like you're going to re receive some sort of miracle. 
And when, didn't I say this? A thing could only distract you if you give it your attention. Somebody's trying to come back and distract you, trying to pull on your heartstrings, trying to get you off course because we got a thing can only distract you. And this is that same lying person. They're seeking some sort of revenge because we got eye for an eye. So it's like they feel like you maybe you left them out in the cold, you abandoned them or you did them dirty. So they're trying to seek some sort of revenge. But I feel like that's the very reason why you're going to be rewarded and blissed with wish fulfillment because you're not paying them any attention because you realize a thing could only distract you if you give it your attention. And you realize this person is only seeking attention. You realize this person is only talking because they have lips, that they're very deceptive, manipulative. This is the energy right next to that. You can see through it. Let me get one more message. Thank you. Wow, that came out with force. Your vulnerability is your superpower. See that? That's your superpower, is your emotional intelligence, is your emotions. But your superpower is when you are intelligent with your emotions. So this person that's coming in is trying to pull on your heartstrings. The divine is telling you, keep your mind on your money. Keep focusing on whatever it is you're creating, whatever it is you're, you're developing, whatever it is you're manifesting, because your, vulnerab your vulnerability is your superpower. So be emotionally intelligent. Don't just be emotional and don't just let somebody come back and pull on your heartstrings and bring up a couple of memories, play a couple of songs and then boom, they're back in, the, in your good gracious. Remember, with this start delegating, this is about somebody giving. This is about reciprocity. This isn't about somebody coming back looking to take because they see that you're having some sort of wish fulfillment or some sort of blessing or some sort of success or some sort of answered prayer. See this? You got love. This person is trying to come in to block love from you. They know you have love fulfillment. So this person coming in is trying to block somebody from from um, from um, coming towards you. They're trying to block true love. And it says you left me. See, didn't I just say somebody feels like you left them and you abandoned them, but you did so for your own mental health, for your own well-being? This person took you for granted. They were sitting there doing all type of spell work and maybe they had some incubus, succubus energy. There was an energy vampire, I tell you that. And we got the Isley Brothers. Who's that lady? Somebody is looking at you from a far secret admirer. And this is that person. Who's that lady? And that lady is you, the divine feminine, lady goddess. Who's that lady? Who's that lady? <laughs> Beautiful lady. That's what he's saying. Who's that lady? Because this person is like, they're smitten. They're bitten by the smitten bug. This person likes what they see. So let's see, why is water cleansing, suffering in silence, patience and planning, home, bodies of water? Thank you, spirit. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Bright future, infinite supply, no need to worry, better days ahead, success, security, stability, and attracting all that you desire. That's what happens when you finally draw the line in the sand and you say enough is enough. I'm done, done, Finn, and I'm just going to walk away from what no longer serves me. I'm clean, clearing, and cleansing. I'm changing things. I'm removing what no longer serves me out of my life. This is like, that's what you get. See that? Choose wisely. Somebody, that's your ex. I feel your ex is trying to come back trying to distract you because they see that somebody that really cares about you is coming in. Stay focused on your skills, talents, gifts, hone them, master your craft, sharpen your sword. You got, you got blessings coming in. Something you do is going to render you um, very successful. Your life is going to expand. There's opulence, there's luxury, there's wish fulfillment. I just feel like you're going to be very blessed. See that? No time for fake one. Snip, snip, snip is here. And then you also have the success card. I got my cards upside down. Durr. I'm like, why are my cards looking like that? So you got success. And this is why somebody's coming back wearing a mask. See that deception and envy card. So they, they see that you have some sort of wish for fulfillment. You've been very patient. You've been very patiently, you know, you've been sowing in good faith, planting seeds. And so this person is literally just trying to be deceptive so that they can get in where they fit in, where they where they think they fit in. They don't know, they no longer fit in. But you get this is what they're doing. No time for you. You have no time. You're cutting that off. And Archangel Mikael is helping you with that as well. Archangel Mikael. Remember, he showed up um, Arch fiery wall of protection. So it's as if he's blocking out what no longer serves you. And you got you will be the first millionaire. 
So let's get a couple messages just from this deck and then we're going to wrap it up. You ain't got to lie, Craig. See, somebody will lie, cheat, steal, do anything just to be in your good graces because they see that you got wish fulfillment coming in. And everybody is like gawking and wanting to know who's that lady, who's who's that person online. Maybe y'all are getting some sort of, you know, uh, recognition online. You got people watching you. Secret admirer loves what they see. Literally just said that. So somebody is really attracted to y'all, drawn to y'all. And that's what this person, this ex, is really pissed off about. Y'all broke them generational curses, yokes, karmic cords. See that? You're powerful and owning it. Congrats. So like this card right here was saying, you're powerful. And remember, you had spiritual strength. And you also have this divine feminine, divine masculine. We also know you're the high priestess. So you are very powerful. And that's how you broke those yokes, those hexes, those curses. That's why this person is growing more angry they have this angst this disdain because whatever they're doing isn't working and you've blocked them you're not fucking with them they're pissed off about that i just said that i was gonna stop cursing i'm a work in progress y'all i'm a work in progress these are people that was in your family these were people that you called family friends remember that wise dome card showed up and i was like you learned some of the toughest lessons from people that are closest to you those are the ones that stab you in the back because those are the only ones close enough to do so because Scorpios are very sussy about people. We don't just let anybody in. So whenever you get done dirty, it's by people that you're very close to. So it'll be a lover. It'll be a friend. It'll be a colleague. It'll be a family member. But I feel like this taught you to find balance. Taught you to be, you know, harmonized. See that? The yoke has been broken. This is the second time. And now all that was being blocked or trying to be blocked or hindered or delayed is coming in. This is the miracle that Mother Mary is blessing you with. And we got Jay-Z featuring um, Gloria Carter, and this is called Smile. And this is from the 444 album. Some of y'all are seeing 444. I feel y'all going to be smiling real soon. And this person, this crazy deranged person, this person right now, see this crazy deranged person? Oh, they envious. They, I told you, they was green with envy. They're green with envy because you, your, your money is going to be beautiful. Like, you got blessings. And I feel like you will know because you're the high priestess. You already know this person. You will know. It says trust your inner gumption. And remember, I told y'all, like, trust your spirit. Like, when your spirit don't feel right, when somebody's energy makes you shift, like, you got to check it out. You got you, you to gotta trust that. Good things take time to create patience. I was saying that all throughout the reading because you had patience show up twice. So the divine wants you to be patient because you will be smiling. You know, there's going to be a big smile on your face. And you're going to look back at these times and be thankful for the journey, thankful for the lesson. See this? Words are spells, spells bind, mind your words and stay protected. Didn't I say that in the beginning that somebody like your words, be mindful of your words, like don't speak illness on you, don't speak crazy, like don't let nobody trigger you in any way, shape, form, or form. Somebody is literally trying to do something. Maybe they're like speaking ill of you, talking about you, trying to defame your character, saying all type of stuff. But what we see here is this is somebody that you're not messing with. So they're a little salty because it says, I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions. So this is someone like heartless. And so what they do is they run their mouth. They gossip. They talk. The divine is telling you it's all a distraction, beloved. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to smile and forgive them all is what I'm saying, you know, is what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. Smile and forgive them all because these people are like wishing harm on you, wishing bad on you. But it's because you're being very creative at this time and you have the power. I feel like you got the power to take these people out and you're choosing the high road like you're not even bothering with it. And then you got this person here suffering in silence, secret admirer. This is that person that literally you know, is, is heartbroken being in separation or not communicating with you. This person now sees you as somebody that is like a blessing, a blessing in disguise. Like you're like somebody that brought a lot of light, a lot of joy, a lot of happiness in their life. You was just different from all the rest. Maybe, you know, this person, as I said, was a little um, cocky, a little conceited. Maybe they liked a lot of attention. You know, there was that attention whore that needed validation from other people. And now they're real, realizing like you, that one person in the room, you know what I'm saying? That 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 just shifts the energy. Like when you walk in the room, the whole energy shifts. And 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 
it's something they feel about this connection that's feel it feels familiar it feels like there's a strong connection strong chemistry and they're admiring you they like what they see so why is awakening somebody's awakening to their feelings why is awakening um loss pain quiet time thunder clapping see that this person is going to uh say something to you and it says prepare take shelter you know, so this with thunderclap and thunder, you know, this is just it, it's shocking. It's something unexpected. So my phone just went off. So somebody is going to speak to you because that's what pre prepare, take shelter. This is like it, it's two sides of the coin. It could be good conversation that's unexpected. And then it could be, you know, an argument, potential argument. But I feel like in this person's case, they're going to unexpectedly reach out. You know, this is somebody unexpectedly reaching out to you and expressing something to you. And it says patience is also a form of action. Stay diligent. So patience, patience, patience was referenced like three times. So you have to be patient in the process, especially if you want something that's that's good. If you want something that's worthy, that's valuable. See this done, done, fin. Destroy and rebuild. That's about an ending, a tower moment. You know, this is about you, you know, going through some sort of painful ending loss, completing a karmic cycle, you know, but coming out on the other side wiser, you know, and also more trusting of your own intuition and planting new seeds and roots in good faith, knowing that they will blossom and render you a beautiful harvest, an abundant, an abundancy, a wealth of knowledge. And you're being patient. Because you know that you're the co-creator with source. You're co-creating with source. You're also waiting patiently for whatever it is you're manifesting. Because this is a form of alchemy as well. And we have selfish loving me, myself, and I. This person's jealous because you have pulled your energy back from them. And you're enjoying getting to know you better. They also hate the fact that you are very psychic. Very, very much that clairvoyant. That you could see through them. This person seeks your forgiveness but it's like you're you're not giving them anything because your your spirit your angels your ancestors are telling you to create distance to remain at a distance to not have that type of toxicity around you so this is causing angst and disdain it's confirmation thank you spirit and you're being very selfish you've given people chance after chance to prove their worth to prove that they're worthy to be in your life. And they just proved otherwise. They were very deceptive. They was like, you know, that was that secret hater. You know, you have a friend, you think that's your friend. Let me call him a friend of me, you know, and, and, and you really supportive of them and looking out for them and you help them all every step of the way. But every time you're making moves forward, they got something negative to say, or they trying to slight you or they're behind your back trying to do things. And, and you figured that out. And so now you, you have your guard up. You're, 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 you're guarded toward this person. You're in a very protective bubble and you're very sensitive now because you could see through them. You knew they was wearing a mask. That's why the mask is up on their face. You know, they already revealed who they were. If they was wearing a mask and being sneaky, they would have the mask on their face. But you've already lifted the mask to see who they were because you're Diana. You're the Oracle. I mean, you can't keep nothing past her. And right now we got Tiana Taylor. Let's build. So this person that destroyed wants to convince you they want to build again. They want to rebuild with you. But you're like not. Look at this. Your love is one in a million, baby. You're attracting new love. That's why that ex person is coming back talking about let's build. They want to rebuild what they've destroyed. And you realize you can't rebuild on no faulty foundation. So you had to pack up, move, relocate, and set up shop elsewhere to get away from this stank energy to rebuild. And that's why you're now back into this divine feminine, divine masculine energy. And that's why the divine was reminding you, look, ask for help. Because a lot of y'all said, I'm not asking nobody for nothing. I'm going to, can, I can't trust no one. So I'm just going to do what I have to do for me. And the divine is blessing you because of all the work you've done. You were dealing with somebody who was a pathological liar. They just talked because they had lips. They made empty promises. This was someone that was a master manipulator, someone that played on your emotional strings, emotionally manipulative. And when you just focused on you, on rebuilding your stability, your security, that's when you started to see improvement, you know. And I also feel like that person was just using you for money. They was just using you for stability. 
and now they're realizing in your in your absence just how rare how beautiful you were they they're saying no one can match it but you're also with this energy of the divine feminine like i said you attract what you are so you're attracting someone this the secret admirer is coming in for you and they're going to match your energy match your fly and match your vibration scorpios so why is water cleansing support thank you good lord all these cards so it's saying you will know look at that spiritual baths are necessary and what was i saying the whole time with this spiritual baths take your spiritual baths and it says egg cleanse sea salt florida water all of the things that i've said it's coming out and is it isn't it beautiful how it's coming out right underneath the cards that it, it mess that it meshes with that the messages are for that it um resonates with so you will know trust your inner gumption that's why the divine is telling you choose wisely because you're going to have someone from your past and you're going to have a divine masculine or a divine feminine feminine coming in at the same time but one of these people are blatant liars and you're going to have to use discernment spiritual baths are necessary clean clear cleanse your energy so that you are not attracting that same negative energy so that you can banish any hexes or spells that this person was putting on you any juju that this person was putting on you somebody is in their shadow they're doing shadow work they're in their dark side you're like attracting someone that is literally like you know they're they're the dark aspect of you so you're radiating love and light whereas someone else is radiating this deception envy and jealousy and you have to uh be mindful you know that's why the divine is saying choose wisely you know because this person you know, they may come in saying all the right things and coming off like they're very informed and very much um, sympathetic or apologetic. And they're just saying what they need to say because they think that's what they have to say to get what they want. And the divine is telling you, pay attention to the signs. Remember, you had um, you had the energy of um, show me. So it's not so much about words. It's about their actions. It's about their overall energy. And so we have. Look at this. And I, let me I got to put this first because I'm talking about somebody being dishonest. So you ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. And that's what somebody's coming back doing. And this is that person that feels you cleansing yourselves, purging yourselves of them and their energy. You're removing them like you're becoming so distant that they feel themselves losing. you. They're losing you. But this is because they may have put some sort of spell on your ass. They may have put some sort of juju on your ass and it's not working. But this is because you're very beautiful. You're the divine feminine. I spoke of Mama Oshun, you know, being this energy, this divine feminine energy, uh, being very attractive. And you are attracting everything um, right now that you are. So you're vibrating higher. So you're very attractive. That's why the divine is telling you to patience because you still have this stank energy that you got to release. You got to let go. You got to purge. You know what I'm saying? There's still some residual energy and that's why the divine is telling you look clean house and when you clean your house then you'll start to be able to attract do your shadow work you know do that introspective work make sure there's nothing within you that's drawing or attracting this energy to you make sure you're doing your due diligence to clean clear and cleanse all right but that is your reading beloved scorpios i hope the message is resonated i wanted to give you a long one today because i you know, I was absent for this whole week. I've really been just kind of working through, um, you know, this energy and I've been really grounding myself. I went out the other day, took a beautiful nature walk. I found me this beautiful staff. I found a couple of um, couple more branches uh, so that I can make some more um, crystal wands because I do uh, want to start uh, gifting my my audience, my viewers with some of my items, um, you know, just as a thank you. Uh, but I hope the message has resonated. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Beloved, love is love is love. Please be sure to hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload in the future. Um, I know a couple of you all have said that you weren't um, seeing any notifications so sometimes the trick is to unsubscribe and then subscribe again and then hit the bell notification and then that should set you straight 
but I love you all, Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I definitely feel like you have new love coming in because your vibration has changed. You've released. Um, some of you all are still in the process of releasing. Uh, there is an ex that's trying to come back and convince you that they want to work again, but they are only trying to block something beautiful from coming in, block your miracle, your wish fulfillment from coming in. Um, and this is out of jealousy. They're straight up jealous, straight up envious of what you got going on. Uh, so just be mindful of what you may be sharing, what you may be um, revealing to people in terms of what you're working on. Someone absolutely that feels that your love is rare, that your love is one in a million um, is coming toward you. And this is someone very emotionally intelligent, someone that will be available, emotionally attentive, someone very faithful, loyal, someone very kind and considerate. Uh, not that attention whore that needs attention from multiple people. This person is going to make you feel special. I just feel like this person will court you or this person will give you their undivided attention. Uh, there won't be some sort of um, competition for their attention. But this is your reading, Scorpios. I hope the messages resonate. Until next time, peace, love, and light.